Poppy is has always been a project with its own momentum. What began as everything I do starts with an image, and the image for this idea was of a man, obviously not a contemporary man, a man in dress out of another time um, on a road with puppets and very theatrical puppets. And everything I do begins with an image and begins with a character. So this is the first thing that I saw. And immediately after that, I see he has a partner, he has a lover, he has a friend, here's this other character. Okay, now I have these two people and I'm starting to follow them through into the story. And it began as a novel that then doubled in size, that spawned a sequel, that spawned uh, performances that is continuing to grow. So it's obviously unstoppable and it has a life of its own. <laughs> the main story is very simple. It is two people in love and boy meets boy and boy and boy go off on the road with a puppet show and break apart through jealousy and heartbreak and how do boy and boy find each other again. And introduced into the mix is a girl who is sister to one and kind of hopelessly in love with the other. And they all end up meeting back at this brothel called Under the Poppy, which is very a very theatrical environment to which one of the lovers brings his puppets and makes it even more theatrical. And there's a war, so there's a lot going on. The trajectory from the book to the stage, I think, was probably helped along and in some ways ameliorated by the fact that this involves puppetry. And puppetry is probably, I won't say it's a neglected art form because that is changing, but it is a very, it's a love it or hate it art form. There are people who just don't want to deal with anything to do with puppets because they are very different from, they're almost uber theatrical because not only are they, not only are you watching a show, even the actors are constructed into characters. So you have all this level of theatricality going on and some people you know, really don't, it's too much artifice for them. And conversely, there are other people who love it, they can't get enough of it. And especially writing, writing a novel about fictional creations who are themselves fictional creations, it, I had a blast, I love that. And I think because of because it was so theatrical, that was an easier way into imagining it with you know, 3D people and in a 3D environment and how do you translate things that are very, some things are much more easily done on the page. I want people to come into a Victorian space that they are free to explore and the show will be happening around you and with live music and with the performers and with your drink of your choice and, 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 and. So that's the plan. Under the Poppy is underthepoppy.com, Under the Poppy on Facebook, Under the Poppy Brothel on Facebook, because someone created a place page and so now I'm adding to that. And yes, and I am puppet girl at underthepoppy.com. So people can feel free to email me with all their suggestions and ideas and send me packages of glitter and you know whatever they want.